Guys, Ace has had the lines out for a little, what, three minutes, maybe? Dude, he's already got one. He's pulling it in. Oh, look at that. It's splashing. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Five minutes. I mean, at the most. Look at that. He's going to go right up this water volume. There he is. Nicely done, dude. Look at that! Look at that fish! Well, that works. <laughs> Nicely done! Look at this bad boy. Oh, shoot. Look at that! Dude, that is nice. sweet! That is awesome! So cool! Y'all take the Look hook out. Curious, yeah. Barbless hook comes right out, no problem. Look at that beast! You know, just in case he gets away, yeah. you have to measure, I'll measure him for you in the fishing rod. There you go. So he's a little bit... About up to that up eye? Alright. Look at that! Yep. Cool. You want to grab him by the mouth down here? Sure. You kind of slip your fingers in behind mine there if you want. You got him there. There we go. Look at that. Nicely done, man. Hey, right here. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm going to let it go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Dude. Three minutes in the water and you're pulling up four foot sturgeon. Dude, there's gotta be a bigger one out there. Let's go find it. All right guys, so Ace had just caught the one and we actually just had another bump on this rod. Um, uh, we didn't get him in though. Just just a nice solid hit, but he let go. So, I mean, if you've been sturgeon fishing before, you can be out here hours, not get anything, maybe get one, a couple. But right now the water's really high and Normally where they're catching them is out there in the current. Uh, we wanted to sit at that spot over there, but there were some guys over there that just left. And that's always a hot spot because you're able to get out kind of in the main current. But since the water's up quite a bit, we might be sitting in a real honey hole right down here. Fish, I think, might be coming in here to kind of get a little bit of a reprieve from, from the higher than usual uh, water levels and as much water that's coming out of the dam up top. So one fish already. Measured how big, bro? 56? 56 inches. 56 inches. That's the record to beat now. Um, another hit already. We've been here for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So let's see what else we can get. Here he is. We just missed him. There you go. That was about the wimpiest, wimpiest hook set I'd seen. But that's okay. <laughs> I saw him bite too. I saw it like, I saw him like thump. That was the lamest hook set in the history of hook sets. <laughs> hey, we left our bait. you can't win them all. Oh my gosh, he was on there too. That was awesome. <laughs> but I stepped out. Oh, there we go. Mike has you might want to pull that one guy up. Yeah, I'll pull it up. Dude, that was a tent. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I, I must have stepped down a hole. <laughs> there we're we go. Set the hook just to make sure you got got it in there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Guys, that was chaotic. I was going to get in firewood, and all of a sudden this rod just took off. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. We got. There oh, we go. Nice, dude. nice. Hey, I can deal with that. The little ones really seem to like have a fun time with it. All right, I'll get down by the waterfall here. Nice. There we go. Cool. Ah. All right, I got Asa landing in for me down here.
Come this way, old boy. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right, little guy. Here we go. Get in. There we go. Here we go. Let's get him back out. Go free. Nice. <laughs> awesome job, dude. All right, guys. Trout on. Asa just got his line out. There we go. Hopefully, I don't fall doing this. Anchors away. There we go. I can work with that. Not terribly deep out there, is it either? No, it isn't. Of course, I think we surmised that last year or two ago. So we cast out. We figured it was maybe like maybe 10 or 15 feet deep. It wasn't wasn't terrible. All right, guys. So I just had another bite, but uh, didn't pick back up. Quite lively action today, but as you can see, we've got uh, the old fire set up. We've got some. Uh, chili going wow look at that the classic stag chili the hot dog on a stick boy it doesn't get more outdoorsy than that brother well done well done boy i'm getting hungry i don't know about you we're gonna get hopefully get in on some of this food and uh get in on a couple more fish before we gotta leave we still got a couple hours left so um but i'm gonna tuck into some food here before uh before the next bite all right we're getting a bite here Couple little taps here. Got it. Oh. Mike, did you get off? Nope, still got him. Mike has got me, guys. I was cooking the tap. Yeah, let me take my phone There we go. Doesn't feel like too big. Doesn't feel too big, but it's still fish. She circled back around there, she is. There we go. Look at that. What do they call it? A pup? A little pup sturgeon. A little pup sturgeon there. Bring her back up. Woo! There we go. Luckily, we didn't have a big one bite while the field is. Yeah. Fouled up. There we go. Go. Bring him around. <laughs> nice. There we go. That a boy. It looks like the same one, but he's way skinnier. Yeah, way skinnier. Another about three and a half feet. It's like four, 40 inches or so. Yeah. Cool. Fun fight. We'll get him back out in there. There he goes. Nice, bro. <laughs> cool. Three on the day. Three on the day. Still got to try to top 56 inches, though. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, guys. So today, I'm actually skipping the bun and just going straight up hot dog and chili. And um, this definitely looks like I could regret this choice later, but uh, definitely not what you're going to see on the front of uh, the Food Network channel. But I tell you what, when you're out here fishing and, and it's cold and it's windy and you're trying to get a fish. Oh, that one got a bite right over there, bro. That guy just got a bite again. Um, I tell you what, you, 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 won't, you won't pass this up, I guarantee you. And if you've been out fishing in the cold early spring, you know what I'm talking about. Get him? There we go. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to reel this one in. Look at that right there. About perfect time for that reel to seize up on you, right? Oh, kids, we might have something here. There she oh, is. Yeah. Look at that right there. Yeah. Dude, is it snag? Dude, it it might be. I don't know. Snag. There's a big fish though. Dude. Oh, dude. I got it right in the fin. Are you kidding me? Right in the fin. Right in the oh, fin. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. No kidding. All right, let me run over to our waterfall here. 
Let me just get a look at that. Nice. All right. We land them right down here. Or we try to. We had the bite. And so when I realized, I didn't realize that there wasn't any like slack because the wind like pulled it. Uh -huh. So like I accidentally reeled in a few feet and I wonder if I reeled it in right under the sturgeon and then his tail like swiped at it and that's when my hook, you know, my, my hook got huh. right in the fin. Nice. Well, well, he was probably what about maybe five feet? Yeah. Would five you say? Feet or so, five and a half. Five, five and a half feet. Like nice. Wow. That's crazy. That was, that was going to be tough. I was going to say that's going to be <laughs> hard to get him over there and, uh, and landed. But dude, nice. There, at least, you know, at the very least, it wasn't like an eight footer or something that we're like, oh, uh -huh. try to get him in. Very uh -huh. cool. Well, dang, we're going to get right back out there. Yeah. Well, guys, apparently for the, um, second course i've got caesar salad now normally you would not catch me eating caesar salad um on a fishing trip however once you get married um and the wifey starts insisting that you eat healthier you usually do what she asks so here i am uh after that scrumptious dinner of hot dog and chili now getting in some greens here with i see a little bit a little bit of chicken in there some croutons so uh you There's know it, manly mountain dew for you oh thanks bro i appreciate that i tell you what i don't know what happened it, it all happened so fast one day i was eating bacon and eggs in the morning i got married next thing i know i'm eating yogurt parfaits and eating salad on fishing trips but well what can you do not bad. All right, guys, I think I've done sufficient damage on the salad to keep the wifey happy. That's fun. But, bro, do you have some cookies or cheese its or something over there that I can imbibe in? Guys, I got I to gotta wash this green stuff down with uh, maybe some Chips Ahoy or something. Asa looks like it has the, uh, some trout ready to rock and roll there. Yeah. Dude, that looks awesome. Here are the trout. Yeah, bro, switch me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Here we go. I'll, I'll work on this. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Unofficial sponsors. Dude, that trout looks good. I know, doesn't it? All right, guys. So here is some of that trout that we caught earlier. You can see that skin just flakes right off. Look at it. You just peel it right away from the bone there. And you just got meat. Mm, Lisa just cooked this up. Wow. Bro, what'd you use in this? It has lemon. Mrs. Dash's lemon pepper, but like fresh squeezed lemon. Lemon pepper, salt, butter. Wow. I mean, that's just, that was in the river not two hours ago. Oh, man. That's good. You can't beat that. It doesn't get any fresher than that unless you catch it and cook it up immediately. Well done. Well done. I could eat that all day. And I might. Uh oh. You got him still? Uh, no? Oh, you do? Yes. Nice. Ace is hooked up. We've been getting. I hooked up here. I didn't. I really thought my GoPro was on. Oh, my GoPro ran out of battery. Oh. Where'd it be? There you go. Asa might have big and small fish of the day here. Let's see. Dude, it's a carp. It's a big carp. Asa's got himself a carp. What? A real monster of the deep. Look at that. Dude, Dude look at yourself. I'm not holding this guy up the cliff. Watch this. Dude, I'm watching, man. Dude, you're really wasting time out here, man. We're trying to fish for sturgeon. Did you just throw a bunch of corn on there? Is that what you did? <laughs> when do carp eat dead trout? You know, I'm gonna stick him in this pond here. Wow, dude. And change my GoPro battery. Well done. Well done. Gosh, I'm trying to get serious sturgeon fishing done. Asa's dinking around for the holy carp. It's a nice size one though, I'll give you that. Incredible. 
Well guys, when the fire's getting put out, you know the day's over. Boy, I tell you what, we did a lot better than I kind of expected we were going to do. The water's about two or three feet higher. I was a little bit afraid things were gonna be kind of washed out today, and it was just gonna be <clears throat> really tough fish. I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But I mean, we caught three sturgeon. Yeah. Well, ended up being a little over 11 and a half feet worth of sturgeon. Asa caught himself a nice three, four pound carp there. Caught six trout that we kept. Those are gonna taste good. We had great meals over the fire. I mean, man, it's a lot better than I thought it was. I mean, it was gonna be. It, this has been an excellent day of fishing. And so, I mean, if this is a good inclination of how 2018 is gonna go for fishing season, we need a bounce back here. Last year with the heavy winter and everything, you know, it just wasn't, wasn't optimal all year long we kind of struggled with the fishing and the fishing was just off so boy I, we might be poised for a big year this year so what a way to start guys thanks for hanging out with us catch us in the next video we'll be getting out here pretty soon hopefully getting to lowell maybe maybe even back down here and, and getting after the sturgeon again but uh quick word of advice never mix cheese it's chips ahoy caesar salad mountain dew code red fresh caught trout and what else do I have? Oh, chili and hot dog. Never eat that combination within about an hour of each other. That doesn't make for a good time later on. So guys, catch you in the next video. Sometimes it's hot and right now, oh, there goes my hat. Um, right, uh, let me do that again.